He did good, you know what I mean? He did good, you know, uh, he made some uh, key adjustments mm -hmm. in the fight, you know, from standing there in front of dude to moving, you know, picking his shots. And, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? He you like his back row defense? Instead of the shoulder where was the back row? I don't like him turning like that. I didn't like. I didn't like that. But uh, like I said, he made some key adjustments to lead him to a victory. And uh, congratulations to Rock. You wouldn't like defense, but in the manner in which he chose to use it, the posture he used, and the way it looked when he used it, it just looked absolutely awkward. Said he says, "What's going on in the sport of boxing? What are they doing today?" He says it gets worse every week. We see something worse every week. And Teofimo Lopez Sr. He sounded very confident. This wasn't talking just to talk. This is how Ryan truly feel about Shakur Stevenson. He knows it's going to be a difficult fight. However, he believes he could beat Shakur. Well, Shakur gave his reaction to Ryan knocking out Oscar Dorte, where he said, Ryan is trash. All he has is a left hook. That Ryan Garcia's unorthodox use of the shoulder roll defense against Oscar Duarte has raised eyebrows among boxing purists, particularly boxing legend Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather, renowned for his mastery of the Philly shell, believes that Garcia's execution of the technique was akin to cheating, as it allowed him to turn his back on his opponent and avoid certain punches. Ryan Garcia's version of the Philly shell was nothing more than a cheap trick, Mayweather asserted. He was intentionally turning his back on Duarte. Okay, uh, it was very awkward. It was very unorthodox. And he was getting countered with left hooks and right hooks to the body um, and left hooks up, up top. It just looked very awkward, very out of place. Creating a blind spot for Duarte to land his punches. That's not how the Philly shell is supposed to be used. The Philly shell, a defensive technique popularized by Mayweather himself, involves using one's shoulders, elbows, and forearms to create layers of defense and deflect punches while simultaneously creating openings for counterattacks. And he stated that even his trainer, two-time trainer, year, yeah, well-renowned uh, future Hall of Fame trainer, Derrick James, told him, to stop using the shoulder roll defense. Get out this shoulder roll defense. However, Garcia's execution deviated from these principles as he frequently turned his back on his opponent, exposing himself to vulnerable positions. Mayweather further expressed his disapproval of the referee's inaction during the fight. The referee should have warned Garcia for turning his back on Duarte, Mayweather stated. That's a foul and it could have resulted in a point deduction for Ryan. But the referee let it slide, giving Garcia an unfair advantage. In that, you know, what is this version of the Mexican shoulder roll that Ryan Garcia attempted to use? Because he was leaning so far back with the shoulder roll uh, and so tightly wound. And he was kind of, it almost looked like he was trying to uh, avoid contact. Controversy surrounding Garcia's shoulder roll technique has reignited discussions about the integrity of the sport and the role of referees in enforcing the rules. Mayweather's comments underscore the importance of maintaining a level playing field and ensuring that fighters adhere to the established rules of boxing. Also, allegations of referee bias have surfaced following Ryan Garcia's victory over Oscar Duarte, with some fans and observers questioning the referee's handling of the fight. Specifically, concerns have been raised about the referee's failure to penalize Garcia for repeatedly turning his back on Duarte, exposing Duarte to illegal punches to the back of the head. Those who believe the fight was rigged argue that the referee's leniency towards Garcia's infractions created an unfair advantage, allowing Garcia to land a knockout punch while Duarte was caught off guard and unable to defend himself. They point to the referee's lack of warnings or point deductions for Garcia's turning as evidence of potential favoritism. Moreover, some have suggested that Garcia's use of the shoulder roll technique, which involves turning the back on the opponent, was a deliberate strategy designed to exploit the referee's leniency and create opportunities for illegal punches. They argue that Garcia's frequent turning was not a defensive maneuver, but rather a calculated tactic to gain an unfair advantage. These allegations have cast a shadow over Garcia's victory and raised questions about the integrity of the fight. While it is impossible to definitively determine whether the fight was rigged, the concerns raised by fans and observers highlight the importance of fair refereeing and the need for consistent enforcement of the rules in boxing.
In fact, the fight yesterday started very good for Ryan, but then something happened to Ryan. As the bell rang, Ryan Garcia burst into action, dominating the ring with fierce lateral movements, unleashing a barrage of jabs and explosive uppercuts. Oscar Duarte, the unyielding pressure fighter, relentlessly charged forward, attempting to shatter Garcia's composure. In the heart of the round, Duarte landed a thunderous left-handed punch, briefly halting Garcia's momentum. Round two witnessed Garcia's resurgence as he seized control, unleashing a relentless jab as his primary weapon. With calculated precision, he blended in powerful right hands, keeping Duarte on the defensive and imposing his own relentless rhythm. Duarte's fleeting victory came in the form of a brutal left hook that caught Garcia off guard leaving a lasting impact. The third round showcased Garcia's strategic shift as he incorporated a modified Mayweather shoulder roll, a nod to defensive genius. However, Garcia's execution proved inconsistent, turning moments of defense into vulnerability. Undeterred, he pressed on, attempting to emulate Mayweather's brilliance. As the fight unfolded, Garcia's reliance on the shoulder roll became glaringly apparent. Turning his back to Duarte, he left himself open to counter punches. Duarte, savvy veteran, exploited Garcia's defensive flaws. In the fifth round, two thunderous left hooks landed, piercing through Garcia's imperfect shoulder roll and sending a clear message. The sixth round saw Garcia persisting with his flawed shoulder roll, inviting Danger. Despite Duarte's capitalization on these lapses, Garcia, fueled by sheer athleticism and power, maintained command. Yet, his defensive vulnerabilities loomed large, hinting at potential struggles against technically superior opponents in the future. In the explosive eighth round, with a mere 32 seconds on the clock, Garcia detonated his signature check left hook, sending shockwaves through Duarte's entire being. Seizing the opportunity created by Duarte's disoriented state, Garcia unleashed an unrelenting onslaught of punches, driving Duarte to crumble helplessly to the canvas. In the face of the relentless assault, Duarte failed to regain his bearings, leading to Garcia's victory by knockout. The night's pinnacle moment showcased Garcia's triumphant return to the ring, silencing naysayers and emphatically reclaiming his spot among boxing's elite. However, amid the celebration, the spotlight shifted to Garcia's unconventional use of the shoulder roll. Contrary to expectations, Garcia's esteemed trainer, Derek James, is not renowned for imparting the shoulder roll technique to his fighters. This revelation hinted at the fact that Garcia independently chose to incorporate this defensive maneuver into his arsenal. Post-fight, Garcia candidly revealed his trainer's disapproval of his shoulder roll tactics. Derek explicitly told me to stay away from that, Garcia admitted. He was like, don't pull that, you're not Mayweather. Might not admit it, but he did say that. Garcia's acknowledgement of his trainer's reservations stirred speculation about the efficacy and potential pitfalls of his unique shoulder roll technique. While it appeared to offer defensive advantages, the questionable execution and the susceptibility of Garcia's back raised legitimate concerns about its sustainability. Ryan, Garcia's persistent defiance of his trainer's counsel has evolved into a troubling pattern, casting shadows over his potential for growth and improvement as a fighter. Despite being under the tutelage of esteemed coaches like Eddie Reynoso, Joe Goosen, and currently Derek James, Garcia has consistently displayed a reluctance to adhere to their guidance, a characteristic that threatens to stunt his progress and cap his capabilities. In his recent clash with Oscar Duarte, Garcia's unconventional utilization of the shoulder roll defense highlighted his blatant disregard for Derek James's explicit disapproval of the technique. Despite clear warnings, Garcia stubbornly clung to this method, leaving himself vulnerable to counterpunches and raising serious doubts about his judgment and discipline. This penchant for dismissing trainers' instructions extends beyond defensive strategies. Garcia has a track record of straying from carefully laid out game plans opting instead for his own unproven approaches, even when faced with evidence of their ineffectiveness. This inclination to prioritize personal instincts over expert advice signals a concerning resistance to learning and adapting, a trait that could prove detrimental to his long-term success. 
Repercussions of Garcia's insubordination have already manifested. Its failure to fully commit to the shoulder roll technique resulted in awkward execution and defensive shortcomings, providing Duarte with opportunities to land significant blows. Furthermore, Garcia's disregard for coaches' game plans has contributed to inconsistent performances, hindering his ability to consistently capitalize on his considerable potential. Garcia to ascend to the pinnacle of boxing, he must confront and overcome this tendency to dismiss his trainer's instructions. Recognition that their expertise and experience are invaluable assets in his development is paramount. Embracing their wisdom and adapting his approach can unlock Garcia's true potential, solidifying his status as a dominant force in the boxing world. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Otherwise, Shakur will lose against Ryan.